If you ever heard my mother's tell the story, Miss Betty Tatum Bobbitt, about one of the kids and all the tragic tales of growing up on Dunn here in Memphis, this is one of them, even if she didn't necessarily tell you the name. This is Gerald Pace, or Jerry, who Pat well, lived was only on this earth just under four years, and he lived at 3680 Dunn, and you may remember from my mother's stories um, as being the child that fell into the storm drain. And when you read the articles that tell about this, and there are several, the community came together, Red Cross volunteers, police, off-duty firemen, and they were searching the bayous with the last hope, even though it was on a rainy day, much like today. And the, the drainage ditch that he had fallen into actually leads to Black Bayou and Cherry Bayou, where they combine, not far from the modern day Sam's Club warehouse off of Getwell. So hopes were slim. And Gerald would be found, but not with a positive outcome. But this is one of those stories and one of those places from my mother's stories. And we would sometimes randomly happen upon these stories and tombstones here at Memorial Park Cemetery in Memphis, Tennessee. From here, when I take time at cemeteries to do stories like this, I always just take a second and look at the family's markers and look at how many of the family members have passed since this story happened. It just always makes me think about time and family and memories. Dunn Avenue, it's the across Getwell from where I live. Um, straight ahead, you will see where the road is going to stop and merge over to the right. The house straight ahead, if I was to go through that traffic sign, is the house on Dunn that my mother uh, lived in when she was young. At the stop sign, turn right onto Robin Hood Lane, then turn left onto Dunn Avenue. And a lot of the stories that we've been told are some of the stories I put on here. This is one of those stories. This is the story of Gerald or Jerry Pace, who lived at 3680 Dunn. And again, this house here is the house my mother lived in with the Tatums. So Dunn is gonna turn that. Turn left onto Dunn Avenue. Thirty-six eighty Dunn is where Gerald Pace lived, this is the, which is right here. The destination is on your right. Arrived. And this directly ahead is the storm drain that you'll see in the commercial appeal article in the comments, or maybe in the video. It's now the bushes have all grown up. Back then, there was barely a railing, but this is the storm drain. As it goes, he fell in on the north side. It had been raining. Looks like it is, and it has been the last couple of days. 
there was a major surge effort, but unfortunately, he became one of the stories that we were told about here on Dunn Avenue. I'm going to get a better picture of the Tatum house. It's here under the big tree you see on the right. It's actually a car backing in the driveway. All of these trees, if you see in the pictures, they it was really a new neighborhood then, so all of these trees were gone. But that there is the house past the white car. Behind all the bushes there. Here at Dunn Avenue and Robin Hood.